Alright, another Arduino update. Second one for today, but I've been working while I was waiting for code updates on this. Um, I've been working on the transmission controller for my car. So I'm going to go through, excuse my dogs. They are playing with my son in the other room. But anyway, so we're going to, I'm going to restart this. See if I can get this to show you the boot up sequence. So the LCD screen, CAN bus is initialized. And it goes, it starts in fully automatic and first gear. Which is normally what you'll be in whenever you're driving the car. And I have it set up on four button inputs, so right now it's on full automatic. I'm going to press this guy. This right now is simulating my transmission shift mode button that I'll have in the Firebird. So full automatic to drag racing mode, full manual, and paddle shift. And then back to full automatic. So full automatic's just like um, a regular vehicle that you would just hop in, put it in drive and go. Um, then you got drag racing mode. This is going to make the transmission act like an air shifter. The RPM shift points are adjustable. I have them set right now to like 5500 and I can set them wherever I want on the upshifts and then whenever the transmission gets below like, like or the engine gets below like 2500 RPM it downshifts. So it makes it just like an air shifter. Um, then you got full manual mode which makes the transmission act like a full manual valve body so if you're in first gear it commands first if you're in third you, it's in third gear even if you're you know standing still but then you have the paddle shift mode which paddle shift uses these two buttons over here which I'm going these two which I'm going to hit hopefully without hitting these other wires it's kind of gotten a little interesting doing R&D anyway so that's down so up shift to two three and four back down three two three four and then back down to one so power shift works fine now I'm going to show you the latest thing I mean, the past videos you guys have all seen all those options so the latest thing I just added today is um, some of you guys I'm sure follow Matt Haplin Sloppy Mechanics he did or he created the sloppy trans brake which is you're still foot braking the car but you make the he was using 411 PCMs um, and he was taking a relay and tr changing some code or like turning off some codes like um, trouble codes in the PCM using HP tuners and then he was commanding using a relay and a button he was switching the power going from the one two shift solenoid to the two three shift solenoid to command third gear um, while um, he was in er, while he was in drive and it was the tr computer is normally commanding first gear so you're on the foot brake you hit that button it makes it actuate third gear you bring the engine up against the torque converter and because of the mechanical advantage that gives you for your foot brakes it allows your foot brake to hold a lot more power then you release the button when the light turns green it does a power downshift down the first and you go so that is what I've incorporated on this board but instead of using a relay I'm just having the Arduino do it so I'm going to bring this up there's a button right here I'm going to press this is my, what's going to be the sloppy trans brake input so whenever you hit it it goes trans brake active so then when you release it goes right back to where you are so Say for instance you're in second gear, you want to leave in second gear, you hit the trans brakes that actually is third, and it brings you right back into second. So anytime you hit that button and hold on to it, the trans brake's gonna be active. You release and it goes right back to what it was doing before. That mode is available in paddle shift. It's available full automatic and in drag racing mode, obviously. Full manual valve body, it is not available in. That is because on this setup, whenever you are um, in drag racing mode, or uh, paddle shift mode, or in full automatic, the shifter has to be um, in either the, or range three for third gear or overdrive. So, for the purpose of a full ADE, it's always better to put it down into third. Um, which 
disables overdrive down the drag strip and all cell um, mechanically it makes the transmission hold more power in third in mechanical third it, like it applies the overrun clutches and some other stuff so because of that you'd have the transmission in manual third and then hydraulically the third gear circuits are getting fed in full man manual valve body the shifter is going to be in first because the physical shifter is going to be in first gear there's going to be no fluid getting applied to the third gear circuits in the transmission so even if you I were to make this available on the controller for third gear it would not physically work because of the transmission hydraulic control circuits weren't getting fed for third gear so that's why it's not available in full manual valve body. Full manual valve body, you just pull it down the first, you hold your foot in the brake to, you know, bring it up the best you can, and then you leave. But all the other modes I have so far, it's working. Um, next up on this is I'm going to get the speedometer input into it, and then it should be getting all this in a box and getting it on the car. And for those who have not seen the previous videos of the my Mega, I'll, I'll go through a little bit. It's an Arduino Mega LCD screen that you can get. Both of those I got off eBay. The potentiometer knob right now is just to change the brightness on this. That's eventually going to get replaced with just a resistor and be done with done. Um, I have over here is a MS Cam module that you can get off eBay too. That one is wired into the Mega, and what it does is I have the Mega set up. I figured out with my data logger that I built how to uh, retrieve the MS or Mega Squirt MS CAN network for like the broadcast messages. I figured out how to retrieve those and uh, decode those in the Mega. Um, so it's bringing in the RPM TPS. Um, RPM TPS, coolant temp, and I think air intake temperature um, off that one message. And I can bring in absolutely everything if I wanted to, but I don't need it all for this trans controller. So really all I'm using is TPS and RPM inputs for this thing. Um, but it's bringing it in over CAN bus to the Mega, so that way I don't have to wire any kind of attack input or anything to this thing. Don't have to wire any kind of TPS input. I can just take it off my Mega Squirt and going with town. So that will make this an, a very viable option for the guys who don't want to spend the $350 on a mega shift, if that's right. It's the micro squirt computer that they're using for transmission control. I know they use the GPIO board, but no one really uses that anymore because of the fact that it's not as good as the, the micro squirt. But the micro squirt's still $300 some dollars, not including the wiring harness and everything else to make it work. So this will be a much cheaper viable option for those guys and it's fully functional I believe this has more settings than you can get out of that micro squirt and it has a sloppy trans brake natively on the board and whatever else I want to do I mean it's completely customizable I have literally just programmed the thing and I'm using four percent of the program space to run full manual valve body to run um, full automatic control with 16 by 16 shift tables to run um, let's see paddle shift mode and drag racing mode I'm using 4% of the memory so I've got a lot more room if I want to get more technical with odds and ends or change how the thing works I just go in with the code and do it eventually I would like to get this right now you have to change the tables in the Arduino sketch itself I want to originally or eventually get away from that and go towards um, either some kind of program like um, Tuner Pro or something of the sort that's a tuning interface that way you can just change your transmission settings on that instead of having to go right into the code and change it um, to make it a little bit more user friendly at the end um, but it's a work in progress this is where I'm at right now um, hopefully the next video you'll be seeing of this is me getting it in the box or yeah, I might take a video update of the RPM input, or sorry, the, the speedometer input working, because that's my next uh, hurdle. Once I get that working for the full automatic control, I'm golden. I have everything else figured out. I can get this in a box, get the figure out what I want for a connector for the box, and get it wired into the car once the temperature comes up, because right now it's freezing but cold outside. So, um, 
But that is where I'm at with this project. Um, the other projects you've seen, the Arduino um, Dino controller from my small engine Dino. Um, the small engine Dino is on hold just for a little bit because i got to build a platform for it. It's fully functional and I need to get its controller boxed also and start hardwiring the Dino for like the um, hardwire the pump on it and a little charger control and stuff like that. I haven't made it that far yet. But that's coming probably this next spring, summer, something like that. Um, it's one of my fun hobby hobbies whenever I, I'm tired of looking at my Firebird and I want to do something different, I'll mess with that thing. But I kind of got the bug for the Firebird again, so I started working on the trans controller, and this is what you've seen. Um, I may also, on this, put data logging on it, on an SD card, so I can data log um, my Mega Squirt 2, which is kind of the equivalent of your guys' Micro Squirts. Anything I get in on that CAN bus, I will be able to data log and save onto the SD card. That's an idea. Not totally sure if I'm going to go with that yet. But, as I said, it's kind of open source right now. Every, or, not open source, but it's an open platform. I can do practically anything. I can code and do it. Um, but that is the general update for the, right now. And thanks for watching. And if you like these videos and you like seeing what I'm doing with Arduinos or with the stuff I do with my car, my Firebird, or anything like that, uh, please subscribe to this channel. We, I would love to have your subscription, and uh, that way you can get notified whenever I start posting more videos about all the Arduino stuff I've been doing. So thanks for watching.